example, and I won't give too many. Uh, Hawthorne has a short story that some of you may know called the, the Maypole of Marymount, about two uh, colonies in old New England, and the, the emblem of one is a whipping post, and the emblem of the other is a maypole. Uh, and, around, and the story begins when the, uh, the, when the colonists of the Maypole colony are celebrating the Lord and Lady of the May's wedding. And it's a hectic moment in August. It's not a uh, bland springtime, the way May Day is supposed to be. It's hectic and hot, and they suddenly through the woods comes a little group of iron men to establish the rule of toil and palm singing on New England forever. And they're uh, led by Governor Endicott. They've come. Uh, from the Puritan colony, the colony whose emblem is a whipping post, et cetera, et cetera. And they take the maypole dancers prisoners and they cut the hair of the young men dancing into the proper pumpkin cut. In one way, it's, it's Freud's civilization and its discontent. For an, in another way, it's, it, it's about the fall from Eden. But uh, I find that when students, or when I myself, engage with that story and let my imagination bring it to life and read about how uh, the Lord and Lady of the May spent their lives trudging through uh, every, the everyday, they never wasted one regretful moment on the vanities of Marymount. But, but then you ask yourself, what am I doing when I go to a classroom? It, it, it's, it's sort of evoked by Catcher in the Rye, which I looked at again the other day. You know, do I have a right, do I have a right to impose uh, rule and, and order upon little children? There's no real answer to it, and Hawthorne had no answer to it. But the reason why it seems important to me as other stories like uh, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn or Portrait of a Lady or uh, or the bluest eye seems so important is they open spaces in consciousness for the reader. They bring up uh, issues, often painful ones. They bring up unanswerable questions and they make being alive and being an educator something quite different than being a clerk and a civil servant. So